The way we understood COVID in the past and how we deal with it now is going to look a lot different in the future. Duke Human Vaccine Institute receiving a contract from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases to the tune of $11.2 million to produce a pan-coronavirus vaccine. The idea here is to not only deal with the current pandemic, but to also deal with what could potentially come um, in the future. And the way we try to predict what's coming in the future is by looking at what viruses are present in animal populations that could at some point spill over to humans? Dr. Kevin Saunders is the director of research at the Vaccine Institute. He says the funding allows Duke to begin manufacturing the vaccine with phase one clinical trials set to start later this year or early 2024, with the goal of giving people protection against SARS-CoV-2 diseases like the coronavirus. It's only at the very early stages of just making sure that it's safe before we move forward into the larger trials. And we have to make through make it through phase one, phase two, and phase three trials um, prior to it ever being commercialized and showing up on the shelf in a, in a pharmacy somewhere. News comes as the White House recently announced an end to the COVID-19 public health emergency, a move that will likely have a financial impact for millions of Americans, including federal student loan borrowers who are caught in the middle of a legal battle. In a statement released to Eyewitness News, the nonprofit Student Loan Servicing Alliance says, quote, there has not been any guidance that the payment suspension would end at the date of lifting of emergency declarations, but that could possibly be impacted by pending court cases, as some waivers and suspended payments will be dependent upon the court's interpretation. If Duke's future pan-coronavirus vaccine is, in fact, successful, it could vastly change our response to further disease. So this will really be one that's going to be effective, we believe, against the SARS-related viruses. And so if there's another virus that comes along related to SARS-CoV-1 um, or SARS-CoV-2, um, we believe this vaccine will, will provide immunity against those. Also, if this vaccine makes it to market, Dr. Saunders believes it will protect you regardless of your vaccination status currently. In Raleigh, Dwan Hogarth, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.